Zero. Oh shit, he's right there. I don't know if he sees me. Nope. See if I'm good. I can just roll up and go. Thank you. There we go. Oh, right in the c Ow, why? No, I'm a badass. There's a difference. Oh, this won't. I'm just gonna wait up here. I'm gonna wait up here for a few minutes. Yeah, and I could have used you to suck my dick. I think I should just end this. Oh, wait. I can't just end this, because fucking Robot McAsshole down there. Wait a minute. I have EMP grenades. Hold on. What is that? Uh, eight. Grenade. Hope that works. Yeah, that was probably about as useful as... Whoa! It worked! You're an impressive soldier. Shut your goddamn mouth! What do I got? What do I want to just waste my praxis point on? Let's just do it. Why not? Let's do it. Now then. Okay, what the fuck, dudes? Seriously? Oh, we're snipers and we're completely invisible. Okay, that's just not even fair. That's not even fair that these guys get... Dude. Punk? Burke's revol- Take that. That. Alright, so now what do I do? Oh, other than that. So now what do I do? Bert's dead. Uh, what do I do now? Like, no, seriously, what do I do now? Oh, do I go out here? No. I'm just gonna wait till shit settles down. Cause right now. I think I have to kill the remainder of these assholes. <sighs> Take cover, you... God damn. Yeah, I think I need to go up there or something. That's all I can think of. Like, seriously, I have no fucking idea what to do now. There's a sniper. Shit. Gotcha! Out sniped by a pistol. Ooh. Pieter Burke. Yeah, I see you up there, asshole. Don't think I don't. I need to get up there. I think that's what I need to do. I need to get up there. So, oh, come on. Enough with you. Uh, I'm surprised I can even move these. There. Dick.
Okay, I, I legit, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I guess back this way. Go upstairs, kill that guy. Cause he's a douchebag. There. He's Bark dead. I'm standing. Yep. He's not. Good. With Bark out of the picture, it's a power vacuum I can take advantage of. Return to Loading Bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, uh, thank you. men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Bark has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, you can be on it. I can get behind that. Alright. So, we just solved the problem of... Pieter Burke being a dickhead. Oh well. Keep my pistol out just in case, you know. Did I deal with this? Yeah, I think that turret's fucked. Ah. <sighs> So yeah, this was a fun little adventure. Discovered some of the origins of the Hyron Project, I guess. Oh, shut up. Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. Cardinal wasn't the only one who died back there. Those prisoners... ...will be added to a long list of Bell Tower's atrocities. We will not let them be forgotten. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. Um, I still have questions, few questions. Coming, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. Yeah, yeah. Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. One I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke. I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol seemed the best way to gain her trust. You mean you lied? So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives, agents of conversion and equilibrium, who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy. Officially. Your enemy? You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. And, uh, the Illuminati. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Burke did most of the damage control for us. After requesting a profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Mm. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it will already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, Orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of cordoning of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. All right. Where's Megan? Where's Megan? 
I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, man. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. <sighs> All right, it's well, done. fair enough. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. <laughs>